In this video, we're going to be testing the Panasonic S1 against the Panasonic EVA 1 in regards to Moire, or however you say it. Here's the story. In July 2019, I did some tests with the Panasonic S1. I can't remember what lens I used, but I do know it was in 4K and 8-bit. And as you can see, there are some unpleasing patterns on the bottom box. So that's what made me think, hmm, let's put the Panasonic S1 against the Panasonic EVA 1 and see what the differences are between the two cameras. Because the Panasonic S1 doesn't have a low pass filter, but the Panasonic EVA 1 does. So here's the first test with the Panasonic EVA 1. We're using the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f 1.8 lens, and that's set to 35 millimeters. We're shooting 4K, 25P in 10 bit, and 10 bit's important when you're shooting in Vlog, which we are right now, because it gives you that extra color space so you can do color correction and get better images that way. The ISO is set to 800, which is the base ISO for the EVA 1, and the white balance is set to 3200. As you can see, no more ray. And now we have the Panasonic S1 with the same lens, Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f 1.8. We're set to 35 millimeters, uh, shooting 4K, 25P, 10 bit, also in Vlog, using the Rec 709 LUT and minor adjustments. ISO is set to 640 because that's the base ISO for the Panasonic S1, and the white balance is 3200 as well. And as you can see, no more ray. So these results were pretty surprising to me because when I filmed last year with S1, there was that ugly Moiré pattern on the bottom box. And then when I filmed today in May 2020, it was gone. And then I had an idea. Maybe it's because today I'm shooting with a newer firmware updated S1 that now has 10 bit. And then when I was filming last year, it had 8 bit only. I then decided to do some more tests with the Panasonic S1. I changed the shooting mode to 4K 50p, which is an 8-bit codec. You can only shoot 4K 25p in 10-bit on the S1 when you've got the firmware upgrade. So I had to go to 50p. I changed the lens over to the Lumix S 24-105mm f4. And when I did that, I got this on my LCD screen. And you can see that ugly Moiré pattern. But then when I hit record, the Moiré pattern goes away. And this is the footage that I got with it. Now the footage isn't perfect. If you look close enough, you'll probably be able to see some flickering on the fine detail. But I think that's because of the V-log and shooting in 8-bit. So then I did a test with Cine D and this is the results, which is a lot nicer. So those were the results of my test between the Panasonic S1 and the Panasonic EVA 1. Although the Panasonic S1 doesn't have a low pass filter, I still think it held up pretty well against the Panasonic EVA 1. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you learned something from this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more content on video creation in the future.